people. I'm here on the Kistwal to Kilar Road. Supposedly, what uh, many refer to this as uh, the world's most dangerous road. Well, for me, having been on the death road, which uh, a lot many overlanders refer that to be the world's most dangerous road. Trying to do the Yunga, the death road as the locals refer it. Now we are headed towards that road and we see a lot of offbeat tracks and we are trying to get off the grid, get into the cavern and capture some beautiful footage. Ah, there's a beautiful tarmac road but there's a shortcut that is getting into the caverns. So we are trying to do just that. this morning and uh, uh, we are headed towards the road of death or death road or the Yunga, the North Yunga road. Uh, it's been interesting. There is a highway that goes high above this canyon. We decided to take the offbeat track, the gravel road. It's been fun. Enjoy the last bit before we... It's a very interesting day that's, uh, that's actually happening. We've started from uh, La Paz towards Oraiko, which is uh, the famous or the infamous death road and supposedly the second most dangerous road in the world after our own Kilar Kistwar that will go towards the Karakonam Highway into Pakistan. The current weather, as you can see, it's been misty this way all the time ever since we started. There is a little bit of a sun, a very mild sun. Yes, lot of mountain cyclists. Uh, yeah, 
most of them head to the death road yeah these guys are all the red bull guys the elevation from la paz would be about uh, 3600 meters and we would be climbing to close to 4700 meters walking with all the gear all the time yes sometimes it actually drives me a little short of breath but then that's fine no problem you know push your body to limits it will get automatically suited you know that's one thing that i firmly believe so these are just one among the few tens of waterfalls natural waterfalls that we have seen as we spiral down a very very misty road today that would take us to yunga the north yunga road all the way to koraiko we've had a fair share of gravel riding this morning ah look at this guy do it, do it. <laughs> that's his mirror yeah thank you we are from india no 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 spanish english <laughs> mucho gusto senor gracias yeah these are some simple words it will help us going we've never been stuck with a language barrier anywhere we get away with whatever we want the fun of traveling is people realize that we don't speak their language they try to speak a little bit of our language we speak to we try to speak a little bit of their language and we are all good you know that's the fun of traveling adventures beyond boundaries today is a very historical day for us we would be doing the second most dangerous road in the world on our own indian made bajaj dominars we are actually on the death road which is nothing but a road made of gravel it's pretty foggy there's lot of mist we have stopped at a point which we felt is a very beautiful location for a brilliant picture and that's the road that we would be winding down towards koraiko and this is the road it's just that the terrain becomes challenging because this road is extremely narrow and uh, it is having traffic the commercial traffic of moving passengers so that becomes a challenge so we are here at around 9 in the morning It's still very cloudy as you can see there's lot of mist slight amount of drizzling but that's okay so having fun yes the death road possibly a good reason why uh, this is named as the death road the road is full of gravel so no great shakes but what's really concerning is the depth just see this guys you know it's a straight drop the plenty of waterfalls that we've been seeing on this road and i'm not really sure you know, like where the water is getting accumulated and dropping down but it's been brilliant absolutely brilliant you know i'm sure the cameras will not do even 10% of the justice that we are seeing here but the fun is uh, the road has been very demanding uh luckily it is uh, drizzled possibly through the night 
it's been drizzling steadily so the way road is kind of a little wet so that gives us an advantage of not so bumpy on the road the road seems well settled so that's really a good advantage for us so this is the famed the north yunga road which is considered to be the second most dangerous road in the world for obvious reasons it's cutting across some of the most beautiful amazon forests thick jungle <coughs> there is considerable amount of traffic but then the fun is that there are certain curves that are very very narrow so it has to be very very diplomatically handled you know i can see quite a few waterfalls up there but i'm sure you know the gopro is not able to capture those fine waterfalls on this road places which i think are absolutely heaven look at the road the road is just a medium to cut across this beautiful amazon jungle you know it's been since morning we've been riding we've hardly done about 70 odd kilometers we have another 160 to go but then that's not really important again just look at these guys you know The kind of visuals that we are seeing on the road is absolutely thrilling. This is called the road of death for some reasons. Thankfully the weather has been really nice. The roads are narrow in some places they are absolutely narrow. With a sharp curve you don't know whether a vehicle is coming on the other side. Got to be extremely cautious. Have I had a couple of close calls? So the road is beautiful the landscape is absolutely mesmerizing I have absolutely no words to explain beyond this I'm here on the Kistwar to Kilar road 
supposedly what uh, many refer to this as uh, the world's most dangerous road well for me having been on the death road which uh, a lot many overlanders refer that to be the world's most dangerous road now kistwar to kilar is roughly around about uh, 114 kilometers the death road the core death road is 265 is about 65 kilometers and the entire north yunga circuit is about 265 kilometers and the entire region is unpaved now i i've i've, I've put behind about 75 kilometers from uh, kishtwar and it's been absolute asphalt except for the last couple of kilometers which the road's turning a little tricky let me show you how the road ahead looks like that's gravel all right so let's see how the road winds up ahead going on the side of the mountains are being shaved and uh, the roads are getting wider asphalted there's a hell lot of infrastructure development happening Roughly about 35 kilometers is what I'm told. Uh, what makes it challenging is uh, just loose sandish. There's no gravel, so the mud is what makes it a little cumbersome to balance. So that's the uh, road winding up. Uh, looks like I'm getting into a little uh, under the weather, but let's see how it goes. Well, this is what they are referring to as the cliffhanger ride. So, about 35 kilometers winding up. I still have a long way to go. Probably another uh, 15, 20 kilometers is what I'm guessing. But uh, it's been fairly easy, except that you know, in case it rains hard. the ground texture becomes a little more hard and it makes it even more easier to ride but uh, in some places in case there's lot of water then it is a little cumbersome but generally on a scale of 1 to 
I would give this a 4 or a 5 max when compared to the death road would usually be between about 7 and 9 in some places well I'm trying to be as honest as possible well yeah the scenery is absolutely beautiful which is something the death road lacks I mean yeah it's like this but no snow which adds a lot of glamour to the whole setup